some of the earlier said, I will describe you that uh, how you can formate your thesis uh, or any research or any research article. So, in order to create uh, a file uh, for the thesis, you have to change certain version of the thesis. For example, if you are going to develop a thesis, first version is saved with the name of version 1.1. Later on, as you make the changes in the thesis, save it with version 1.2, 1.3, and so on. First of all, you can open the file in MS Word, and uh, when you uh, open the file in MS Word, you uh, divide your thesis into three to four, uh, four to five chapters and uh, uh, certain other components of the thesis. Now I just want to describe how you can uh, create components and how you can formulate the components of the thesis. For example, most of the universe are demanding chapters. So I am just uh, typing the name of the number of the chapter for number one, which is mostly all the discipline name of the chapter. And we uh, uh, type this chapter title. After that, we have to format this chapter. And uh, in order to format this chapter, you have to select here the times. Then you have to set it uh, at 16 font. Then you should select bold. And after that, you have to set it as uppercase. Then you have uh, uh, you should do in the references. And in the reference tab, there are some options. And this is the option which I am going to tell you so that is very, very helpful in making a auto table of content. So, in order to develop the auto table of content and the proper formatting of the thesis, you have set the heading level. And here you select the level 1. You should go in the reference tab. And after that, in the reference tab, you have to click on the add text option and from here you select level 1 when you select it level 1 there might be certain changes in the color of your text or the indentation of your text so just uh, you have to correct it for example you can select the color from here and uh, after that uh, you select the center centralized uh, alignment of the text so this is chapter number one okay now, after this heading, you have to, uh, most of the time, you have to give the heading, uh, for example, you have to background of your study, and after that, you have to, for example, you have to write down the broad problem area, uh, then you have to uh, write down the problem, you have to write down the search gap, then have write down the problem statement and the problem statement after that you have to write search after that you have to write search question then you have to write the significance of your study and the significance can be of two types first one is practical and the second one is the uh, theoretical or any other concern. So I am just giving an example of different uh, headings. So when you give uh, these headings, you have to give them numbers. And uh, in order to give them the numbers, you have to select it uh, from your times one. And uh, you should select it at 15, then you should select at bold. And after that, you go here and select capitalize each word. After that, go to the uh, numbering options, words and number in the button and number part of your uh, home tab. Select the numbering library, and from here you have to set the number uh, by setting define the format. In new number format, uh, there are there is a uh, numbering style and from here you select this simple number style 
and in the number format you can click here and type 1.1 and select it as ok now you can see that all the headings have been given the number of 1.1 and uh, the font size is 14 and uh, from here that line spacing of 1.5 there are uh, uh, different requirements of different universities for example certain universities are demanding line spacing some ask for one line spacing and so forth. anyhow what, what uh, whatsoever is the requirement of university you can select it from here after that this practical significance or theoretical significance is basically the part of its main significance so this should be in the level third of you okay one thing we have missed and that is when you are uh, setting all these headings you should go in the references and from here you should select it at level two okay uh, when you set it you should go here in the view tab you should uh, click on the view tab and here you select on the navigation pane and uh, when you uh, click on the navigation pane you can uh, see in the left area of your document that there is a map of your document uh, emerging here and from here the navigation on the pages are uh, very easy okay now on the third level on the because uh, this is your first level of your heading this is your second level and uh, this is your third level so in order to set this third level you uh, should go to the references and uh, select from here level 3 now go to home page and select the color of the uh, text as black and after that you should select the uh, formatting style as tiny open and the font size should be 12 and uh, line spacing should be 1.5 okay now go to the uh, numbering list and from here you should select it 1.1 uh, 1. 1. 1. 1.2 uh, here is coming 1.2 but we can edit it and uh, again go there and uh, from here you select uh, or define new number for me and uh, because this is the 1.7 and this should be 1.7.1 so edit it uh, as 1.7.1 uh, and then click ok now your headings are 1.7.1 and you select these indents as uh, your text should be here so then the uh, indentation because uh, the level of the heading should emerge in a sequence now you can see uh, in the left pane of your document that your headings are coming in the hierarchy okay now comes to the uh, chapter number two. now uh, come on the next page in order to insert the break for the next page you should uh, you should click on you should press control plus enter key to uh, insert the page break and by this uh, inserting page break you will uh, you will come up with a new page and at that uh, at this you type chapter number two that is mostly literature review and in this uh, literature review should uh, for example you, uh, you have to give the description uh, of uh, first variable uh, of variable one <laughs> for example you are having four variable in your model and you are going to describe the, the creature of the four variables so in uh, adding one you have to describe the variable of uh, variable number one then you should uh, discuss the creature of variable two then the variable three then the variable four that these variables can be of your choice these variables can be based on your own model i'm just uh, 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 just giving the name uh, of uh, description of variable for the sake of uh, just teaching you can use your own models variables for example if you are going uh, if you are working on uh, uh, human resource practices and uh, 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 imply retention you 
कैन गिव दिएबल नेम एज ह्यूमन रिसोर्स प्रैक्टिस द सेकंड वेरिएबल शुड बी एज ह्यूमन रिसोर्स प्रैक्टिस द सेकंड वेरिएबल कैन बी बाय रिटेंशन सो दीस वेरिएबल्स कैन बी अकॉर्डिंग टू योर मॉडल नाउ दिस नाउ हाउ वी कैन फॉर्मेट द हेडिंग्स ऑफ द चैप्टर जस्ट गो टू द हेडिंग वन ऑफ चैप्टर नंबर 1 and from here select the format painter click here and just come on uh, and click on the chapter number 2 and literature report we see that your heading would be a according to your uh, requirement one thing is missing all these are not upper case so go there uh, in the home page at uh, this option and click on upper case and your heading will be according to your requirement now comes to the second level of chapter uh, number 2 and from here you should select uh, go in the reference tab go in the reference tab and from here you should select on the level number 2 so these all headings number at level number 2 now go to the home page and from here select the color at black and the uh, uh, format uh, format size uh, as the protein and uh, time new roman and now give the numbering style and in giving the numbering style you select uh, you should define the format and uh, when you are going to give a new format you should here the number as 2.1 okay this is your 2.1 and uh, the heading should be all headings are in the uh, required uh, the format the other thing chapter number 4 can of uh, uh, for example here uh, there would be framework critical there would be a conceptual framework there would be hypothesis all these headings here so now any heading uh, any heading and then select format painter from here and just paste format on required heading okay now uh, comes to these all these uh, headings can be uh, added in chapter number now comes to the chapter number 3 for example now on chapter number 3 by control enter and now type in chapter number and Could be uh, about the alun. Most of the uh, this is the heading chapter is present alun. Go here, uh, select the heading, select format painter from this option, and then come on the chapter number. Now uh, again select uh, upper case case from here. Okay. Now. Uh, Click here and come to the now. Thing you observe here in the left side of the screen, you can see that headings are in required hierarchy. Okay. Now uh, in the chapter number two, you can, uh, for example, heading uh, name of, for example, uh, uh, aim of your research, aim of research, for example, uh, your research design. the headings can chapter for example your public for example your sample for example your data collection for example your unit of analysis these headings can used in chapter number 3 and order to form it these headings you can you can select this the uh, two format and select the format painter and here Click the uh, select the heading uh, from here, but the, there would be certain just control that and click by yourself. For example, in the time moment, and uh, from here you can increase the font size, select bold, and in the reference two and select level for two of your headings, and after that you change the color of your text, then select one point five uh, line spacing. and now you should go here and uh, you should define a new format and 
number for it should be 3.1 so just type 3.1 here and this uh, highlighted cannot should not be deleted or edited because this is auto economic format of ms word so just click ok and all the headings will be required for me now comes the same pattern can be followed for chapter uh, four, that is of data analysis and same pattern can be followed as number uh, five and that can on and and heading better can of reference okay now what happened go on chapter three this formatted heading let uh, a format painter from here and now based on the chapter number okay now again select uh, the upper case here again select the format painter and go chapter number five and uh, again select the upper case from here now again click on format painter and paste on the reference now you can see in the left uh, <laughs> uh, left bar of microsoft word that all the headings are coming in the hierarchy now it is trying to generate the auto table of content all the efforts are because we are interested in generating the new uh, in generating the auto table of content so in order to generate the auto table of content we should insert a new page here so i shift uh, this vector on next page by control enter and come in uh, come on this page and uh, just go in the references option and from here just select table of content from here okay just click here and select the table of content now you can see that uh, all the contents will be uh, mentioned in your table of content and from here you can see that this is the table of content now you can uh, head edit the heading of this according to the APA format just that time you open 16 bold or and uh, this is the font color and from here you select the upper case and then as a, a center line and from here we 1.5 line space okay this is your uh, uh, table of content and from here you can observe that uh, all the headings in your document are in proper format okay this was the formatting of your thesis and the preparation of auto table of content thank you so much